Okay. All right, we are live. Okay, so let's go to the page. Google All right. Google. Hello, hello. For those of you here who just joined us, if you could um, see us, just let us know that you are here. Uh, hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> All right. So we take some time. Perhaps we just take some time, a couple of few minutes, uh, for us to just share, do our setting there. Okay. Start watch party. Correct. Oh, so when I click this watch party, then it will go into this and then the camera thing come out. So it's the same thing. Lah. Mm, yeah, when you push the camera, right? Mm. Yeah, then you can, and you will know it, then you can start the watch party there. No matter, I think watch party is okay. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's so new to me, I just want to focus on, on, on one thing at a time. Okay. All right. Okay. For so those of you here, uh, if you have managed to join in right now live, uh, in fact, we're going to start in a couple of few more minutes. We're going to start in a couple of few more minutes as uh, we are waiting for some of our friends to just join us. And of course, uh, it's also uh, Lauren's first time right here. Right. Hello, so what hello. we're going to do is that, uh, okay, we will allow people to just come in first because as usual, uh, let us just do some setting to share all this uh, watch party and all. And of course, uh, some of us are not so familiar. Uh, for those of us who just join us, uh, probably just uh, say hi to us. Hi, so that, hello. Hello. So that hello. Know that you're <laughs> <laughs> say, hi first. Oh, say hi first, say hi first, right. For those of you just join us, uh, probably right here as we're going to have a very casual tea session and all, just to encourage our friend right here, all right, for the very first time coming on air. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, um, for those of you here just join us live, uh, just drop your hi and uh, show us your support so that we know you're watching this right now from wherever you are. Uh, just say hi, let us know you're watching right here, drop your comments let us know you're watching and in fact uh, we are very grateful uh, to be doing this right now and today uh, the reason is because i think uh, for the whole period of mco where a lot of things has been happening to malaysia so therefore i think it's time for us to step up and to do something and this is the reason why uh, we are here today because uh he actually let me just tell you how it started first uh, where you know we, we, are, we are seeing a lot of people going online right um, over on facebook live and on cyber platform then we in our apprentice team thought that I think, I think our founding president, our founding chairman should talk something, right? And that's the reason why at first say like, don't know want to come or not, right? Uh, but I think despite whatever it is, we wanted him to be here today. And that's the reason why we have here, uh, joining us right here, uh, Lawrence here, as uh, a founding chairman of uh, Yasan Apprentice Malaysia. So we want just to share some insights. Uh, let's not make it a very formal, uh, Formal interview. I wouldn't call it an interview like, like oh, what you no, say. No. Show us your no. cup. Show us your cup. Show us your cup. Yeah. No. 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 No formal interview. <laughs> I thought you got your coffee. Your coffee. Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, in fact, for those of you here, uh, because we cannot drink tea, right? I mean, we cannot drink coffee together. Why not? Uh, just come here, join in here. Uh, say hi to us. Let us know they are here. Hello. And in fact, uh, Lawrence, I think Ashraf Alia say hi to you. Uh, hi, hello, Ashraf. Hi. All right. So why not we just have some friends joining in? For those of you here, uh, do support us and like the page as well. Like the page, like this post, and uh, maybe you can conduct a watch party, do a live show, so they can continue sharing with people as well. All right. Yeah. So let us know that you're here. Drop your hi so that we know you're watching this right now. And in fact, uh, before I officially hand over the the, I wouldn't say no stage, right? Used to saying stage. Uh, before I start asking questions. <laughs> Um, no, stage, let me, no, stage. <laughs> no, 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 no stage. Uh, before yeah. we, we start our q and I think uh, the reason why we are here because we want to make it very casual so that we want to share some insights on how we can help and encourage the youth on what they can do during MCO. I think that's the reason why we're doing here today. So again, for those of us just joining in live, uh, say hi to us. Let us know you are here. Uh, like the page, uh, follow our page, follow our work. Uh, we have a lot of upcoming exciting good news that I that I don't want to share. I give the privilege to you to share. Uh, so Farah, Eliana, say hi to say hi to you. Hi, hi Farah, hi. All right, we have a Jiayou. Oh, Jiayou, we really have some supporters, huh? 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So I think uh, let's start. And uh, so I think first of all, um, I think interestingly, like, okay, before we officially start, okay, so tell me, uh, how, how have you been for the past MCO? Because we never really get to meet and we can't meet, right? How, how has yeah. it been for the past few days for you? Well, I think, uh, of course, I think you and I, we, we definitely share the same uh, feeling that uh, when the MCO was announced, uh, all of us are definitely in shock. And uh, I think the, the early few days, all of us were busy buying bread, buying rice, uh, make, making sure our house is stocked up. So by the time MCO arrives, uh, of course, uh, first two days seems to be a little bit fine because I think it's almost like taking a short break. Uh, but I think subsequently, uh, you start thinking, you know, especially, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, 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 if you watch uh, Astro, when you watch the same movie again and again, <laughs> so you start to feel that uh, what's going on, right? And then, right. of course, um, when uh, the, the time is, of course, the time is the same, but it's just that when you start to, to not know um, uh, what to do and, and you got to stay at home and then uh, there's a lot of things that is uh, almost paralyzed, paralyzed uh, as in, of course, definitely you can't meet people, you can't have meetings. I think uh, after the second or third day, I started to feel a bit uh, restless already. Uh, <laughs> how, to, how to get this, uh, uh, how to actually finish up 14 days. Uh, of course, when the announcement of the extension, oh, that one was, <laughs> I think, even more shocking. Was like, ah, another fourteen days. So right. I think uh, the first few days was fine. Yes, but eventually, uh, after that, we <laughs> it was a bit restless at the beginning. Right, right, right. Uh, so I, I think, I think, I think it's. I, I don't know whether it applies to you and the people watching this as well. Uh, so it's like yeah. suddenly announced very shocking, right? Yeah. So and uh, in fact, uh, where we have people coming in, so uh, say hi to Nadia, say hi to Jana. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so perhaps our friends here, we just want to have a casual chat with you. So for all the friends watching this, uh, maybe probably you can tell us for this MCO, what have you all been doing? So type in your comments below. Uh, just share with us what have you been doing for the past few days. And yeah, I think I think like 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 what you have said, uh, a lot of people are in shock. In fact, when they extended the second for second half, the next fourteen days, I think some people yeah. uh, are just in shock, right? And I yeah. guess that, that is somehow quite quite resonate with the topic here today because I believe not just businesses, but I think I also think that youth are also in shock. Uh, when yeah. we talk about youth, young working people, and these are people where college, university, in school, young working adult, because. I, I, I think I can speak on behalf of the young people a bit lah, because it has never been our generation, right? We get such a long holiday. We have never yeah. got locked at home before. So I think that is the reason why I also want to ask you a few questions to get some insights sure. from you. Yeah, so so I think probably because because we have been very active parentis as a whole, uh, I, I'm not too sure uh, to our friends watching how well they know parentis. Maybe you can take some time to just introduce a bit. I, sure. I think some of the things that we want to ask and to inform the youth is that Okay, doing this MCO, what are the things that youth can do or should do instead of just like, you know, joining in the Doremon, I don't know whatsoever, I think it's, it's going to be trendy. <laughs> but uh, what youth should and can do in this MCO when it applies to young working adults, young people and to youth? So what do you think they should do and they must do? I think, I think uh, uh, maybe before I go into what youth uh, should do and what youth can do, I think definitely, number one, just want to be clear that I'm definitely no, no longer in the criteria of youth. So uh, <laughs> I feel the youth today has a lot of things that they, they can do and they, they plan to do. So i uh, share a, a little bit about me. Um, I, I'm, not very, I'm not a very um, IT illiterate, Ill, illiterate, whatever the word is, Means actually, I'm still quite on 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 to uh, technology, and I still quite get to know a lot of things. But this MCO actually made me feel that I'm a bit out. There are so many different apps that I actually don't know. Actually, to be very frank with you, I've been in uh, I have FB account for almost uh, what nine to ten years. But of course, this is the first time I do an FB live. Uh, I have I have I have not done a single video meeting with any of my team members and this video actually is the first time and yes. we actually tried tons of apps you know uh from being hang uh, uh until we cannot see each other on the video we cannot hear each other actually it's even more tiring and more stressful you see so yeah. i i i have gadgets but actually um i realized that i don't know my gadgets well 
<laughs> I don't even know how to sometime um, uh, turn on and off the video and the, the mic, mic features. So I think what the youth can really, um, or people like us can really, uh, learn, uh, can really do at this point of time is actually to brush up some new skills. I think it's very interesting uh, that people like, to be very frank, people like me, I, I'm a very manual person. Uh, people who, my staff who knows me well, that I actually still write, definitely I write on papers. I, I prefer that than actually uh, assessing into Google Sheet. But of course, now that we have to work from home, so uh, we have to depend a lot on technology. So um, uh, familiarizing on how to use it, actually you'll find that it's actually more efficient and it's actually uh, more, more fun, but it's just that, uh, you need time. You need time to actually uh, uh, understand how it works. For example, this Facebook Live, it, it is almost a nightmare to be. <laughs> Wesley took really two, two days to actually teach me the function. And until now, I still actually basically only know how to do QA on FB Live. So, one day, one day, not two days. We only give you one day. Yeah, one day. Yeah, <laughs> almost one day. So I, I see a lot of cool people, uh, share, a lot of friends that I have that I didn't realize that they're good at cooking. I think they share a lot of good cooking recipes online. Yes. Uh, so creative young people doing TikToks. Uh, I actually downloaded the app, but I have no courage to do so. So yes. <laughs> uh, I think that one is really a young person's platform. Uh, yes. I see a, a lot of uh, a, a, a new, um, uh, new, how to say, new activities. I mean, things that we wouldn't think that can be done at home. Uh, yes. that now it's being done at home. So I think uh, the youth can take this opportunity to see a different, uh, you know, rather than a very routine life, maybe yes. this is also a good time to, to reflect and see what else you can do differently. Yes. Uh, I, I think I, I, I agree with the point that I think it's a time that we can do things differently. Because I think from the perspective of youth, uh, I mean, young people that we talk to in college, you know, we have always said things like, you know, it's time to go online, go and learn study. But I think only right. times of crisis like this, right? Then it suddenly pushes everybody to embrace online. Um, Correct. I mean, like, I mean the, even even in printis, I remember last time you all had the uh, the conferences, future shifters conference, and we have always been talking about IR four point you know, embracing technology. But I think now it's time that we really have to do something because it's a really structural change, right? And yeah. and because to that, you know, even when you say about cooking, right? So Jana was saying, I love cooking in TikTok. <laughs> Ashraf, uh, I saw you TikTok. Nato. Oh, you TikTok also, huh? On the last day before MCO. Well, say, I think, is it the one that you are doing with the team? The, the Correct. Team? No, the one and only. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you're more trendy than me. Eh? I think I can. Ah, yeah, I need to work out. I need to work out, right? Okay, uh, right. I, I, think, I think in the point where, you know, they talk about they should actually uh, buck up themselves. Okay, but in specific, right? Uh, what are some of the things that you think youth can do so that they are more productive so that this is not just a lockdown for the virus, but a lockdown for youth to benefit. What do you think are some of the things that they can do while this period of MCO? Uh, what they can do, like um, most probably, for example, in Printis, I, I mean, I give an example from the perspective of Printis. Uh, actually, a lot of people that are close with me on uh, knowing how I run Printis, uh, what you said is true for the past, uh, anyway, Printis is uh, the fifth, entering the fifth year this year. So for the past uh, three to four years, we are very focused on offline and uh, uh, outreach programs. We do a lot of conferences. We do a lot of very offline, uh, big, small, medium uh, workshops, uh, uh, outreach. Uh, but actually, early of this year, I realized that digitalization is, is, is something that my printers need to look into in terms of reaching out to more people that we can't reach out because there's so, there's so many the, 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 the limitations when it comes to uh, uh, offline outreach. So uh, actually starting this year, I already tried to um, uh, take opportunities to, to learn new things. I think uh, especially this MCO, I actually, uh, I actually read a lot about uh, e-commerce. Actually, I learned a lot. I actually, I, I do have friends that are actually having digital marketing agencies that I actually also uh, actively are part of it. Uh, but it's just that, it didn't come to my knowledge. It didn't come to my knowledge that I will be personally involved. For example, right. now Printis is looking into going into e-commerce, but e-commerce is just not about uh, having a website and you just post some items and you start selling. It's not as simple as that. So I actually took up a lot of time to read about e-commerce. 
who read about uh, if we we want to do something online, how are we going to do it? Uh, I actually ask a lot of people as well, uh, those that I think are experts. So one thing the youth can do during this period is actually start catching up with those people that uh, you may not have time during your uh, busy routine life. I think I've spoke to a lot of people uh, because now everybody is free, right? So we yes. we basically texting, we basically tweeting, um, yes. uh, reconnect. I think reconnect with people that you have been uh, not connecting so right. that they don't think that you're selling MLM because uh, <laughs> that's what usually people think, you know, uh, <laughs> after uh, after 10 years. So I, I, I think that's one thing that the youth can do. Reconnect, uh, right. sit down, rethink right. about, uh, of course, you can't do anything with your job, uh, yes. but for your personal, I think you can uh, rethink a bit of what are your priorities. Uh, I actually, of course, spend more time with my kids now, uh, with my with my kids and with my family. Uh, and at least now I know when it comes to vegetable grocery purchasing, yes. uh, actually what type of uh, <laughs> what type of food that actually my kids like, or very uh -huh. simple things like what type of ice creams do they actually like. So there right. was one time I, uh, I bought an ice cream uh, that has a bit of teh uh taste. My 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 kids doesn't like it. To me, I think it's it's cool, right? So yes. I think it's also I have time now to to um to really uh, reconnect. I think that's that's what's one thing the youth can do. Yeah. Right. I think I think a good point when reconnect. Uh, I think I think I think prior to I don't know. This is just my thought. I think prior to MCO, where you know people are busy, we got assignments la, work la, this OT la. But I think now is the time that we really get can have a proper time like what you say we connect with family with friends with siblings so that right. we can have time to really establish back what we want to do uh on the other perspective uh you also mentioned the word e-commerce uh where i think yeah. is, a, is a good is a good thing that my print is embracing now so that i think it's really time for us to do what it is supposed to do or mm -hmm. and i think the people are now more ready as well because uh it's like again a force that push everybody to go online so speaking yeah. about online, I think we have uh, Tasmini coming online to say hello, Dato. Hi. <laughs> right? hello. Uh, friends, <laughs> hi, Daniel. Yes, I'm good. How are you, Daniel? <laughs> yeah, we got some friends. Keep your comments coming. Any one of you here or just Thank here, uh, let us know you're watching. Drop us a hi. Show us your love, right? Uh, show us your coffee. Show us your love. And uh, perhaps you also want to know uh, if any one of you have any questions that are, uh, I mean, a very yeah. casual conversation in regards yeah. to what can you should know, uh, what can you should do, can do during MCO, especially for those of you here, youth, young people, young working people, in fact, anybody, uh, if you, there are any questions that you think you want to address to us, just feel free Please. to comment uh, yeah. down there at the comment section. And at the same time, uh, we we'll also have to invite all of you to also like and follow uh, my printing page as well, because we got some exciting good news that I, I just cannot share. I want to let you to share, right? So that we can uh, continue to add more value to the youth. And now, in regards to what you say, right, um, from the perspective, because you've been doing NGO work, social enterprise for so, yeah. so many years, uh, with private sectors, government, with education, B40, so many different categories. Now, from your perspective, I think I want to ask on behalf, what do you think are some support that the youth should have? Okay, how do I say? That means what kind of support that you think they should have in order for them to step up? Because I think a lot of youth nowadays, besides reconnecting, they want to do something. Maybe they need a certain support. What kind of support do you think the youth should have right now on your perspective? I think over my perspective, uh, my personal view, right? I think um, it, it's also applying on what my printers always uh, is focused on. I think number one is always about uh, giving enough uh, knowledge and information to the young people. I think uh, to excite or to, to, to excite a young person is not very difficult. I think it's very easy to uh, make them happy. I think it's also easy to make them angry. Uh, I think it's also easy to make them, make them agitated. Any news, any piece of news will actually make them go crazy. So I think uh, empowering young people is not just, um, you know, giving them that injection of you know, um, uh, passion. But I think what even I myself, I felt that what we really need is knowledge. What we yes. really need is uh, information. So right. before we jump into conclusion, then I mean, fake news, fake news, for example, fake news can come in two forms to me, to my opinion. One is people purposely do it. 
just to create havoc. But there are people who actually spread fake news because they have no knowledge. They have no, they, they don't have bad intention, but it's just that they have no knowledge of certain things or they have no uh, idea. So they just spread. So, so I felt that if young people wants to step up to do something, I think it's best that uh, it's, 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 um, it's good that they, 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 they get information, they start reading or they, they start uh, seeking people that they can help them. Uh, I think people, again, people who know me well, I ask a lot of questions whenever, especially things that I'm not very familiar with. So um, support, I think uh, in my practice, we, we constantly share information. We constantly share uh, new stuff that is ongoing. And if government uh, or whoever that wants to get involved, I think uh, getting them to, to, like I said, getting them to volunteer or getting them to be here and there is not very difficult. Of course, there are people who want who don't want. Yeah. Uh, but the right information, the right channel to get knowledge is important right. so that okay. they don't make the wrong decision. Right. Uh, I think in terms of knowledge, I... I can resonate with what you say, uh, yeah. especially I think nowadays where there's so much information being shared online, uh, yes. fake news, good news, positive, negative, right? So I think uh, because everybody suddenly want to come online, right? everybody start to yeah. do their own Facebook live and whatsoever, everybody start to share their own content, their thoughts on what should do and what they shouldn't do. So in your yeah. perspective, how can the youth filter? What, how would you define good contents or not so good contents online? I mean, from your perspective, um, how do we differentiate the ones that we should filter, the ones that we should absorb, and the ones that we should actually ignore? What, what do you think? Well, uh, of course, for example, I think that the source is important. The source of the information is important. So I think number one, uh, like for example, on COVID-19, uh, yes. definitely you want to follow the right source, uh, uh, the government channel, or yes. even the, uh, the right media channel. Of course, sometimes media makes mistakes as well, but at least official media... Uh, or official comments, uh, 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 you know, from a ministry or the government. I think the source is, is more important. So I, I suggest that um, the young people read from the correct source. Uh, even sometimes politicians make mistakes as well when they give certain uh, info or when they give certain uh, 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 press uh, uh, conferences. I, I see uh, ministers saying wrong things, but... I think uh, that will be the best source of getting the right information. I mean, in example of COVID-19. So let's say right. in, in terms of business, entrepreneurship, I think there's a lot of uh, quite relevant platforms as well uh, right. that they can, can learn and can read uh, rather than you get from somewhere that you don't know where, where somebody wrote it from where we are not sure. Right. Uh, I think the source, like what you say, is important. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think I think sometimes where you, you read some information and give you some very funny news that people share, share on Instagram that they put uh, right. fake news, right? right? I think it's been a lot, especially I think during the initial days of MCO. Yeah. There are just so many news, right? I think I yeah. think like what you say, you should know uh, because yeah. I think a lot of people like, they share information because you sometimes quite innocent now. We don't know, now, right? I don't know how youth innocent is now, but but yeah, I think I think like what you say, the source is very important. So and uh, so Jana, Jana is commenting. Jana say knowledge and information is key. Um, Tasmini say Tobai Dato. Okay, since you have a lot of followers coming in, <laughs> since I think yeah, good. Uh, just give your comments coming. Any one of you just join us here, drop us a hi, just help us to like and share, follow our page because we have some exciting news that again, I just can't wait to ask this. Okay, so in regards of uh, in regards of support, you talk about information, knowledge, and, and things like that. I'm not mm. too sure whether um, as of right now, I mean, okay, of course, as our team, right, we, we, we discuss on some right. project, but I want you to say from yourself. So how can... Uh, from the perspective of my point is, Yayasan itself, my point is, how can we support the youth right now during MCO? Are there any initiatives that have already been solid uh, that you really want to launch to benefit the youth? I mean, what's your perspective on this? Yeah. So the source is important. When I say the source of information is important, is because you want to hear it from the right person. You yes. want to hear it that is people, the real people that may be affected or the real people that is at the particular uh, situation or or doing or having that particular responsibility. So in, in here, my point is actually uh, actually we have been working on this, but it's just that uh, uh, we actually just uh, finalized a few details with uh, I think uh, uh, friends like Wesley is also getting involved. From tomorrow onwards, uh, in my point is we have a series called the What Malaysian Youth Should Know series, the WMYSK. So WMYSK 
series is the very first program that I have done even before the birth of my printers. Why the title says it all, what Malaysian youth should know. So you see, when I started it, I didn't create it as what Malaysian youth should do or what Malaysian youth should, you know, other things. It requires young people to first know and then they will decide for themselves what is the type of action that they want to do or they want to take. You see, we can't, we can't force them. I mean, of course, we can encourage them, but we can't force them. But they need to be given the right information before they make the decision. So this is the very first program that I've done before my apprentice was even born. Uh, yeah. Then we have actually continued with that series uh, over the years uh, with, with leaders, with prominent leaders, with entrepreneurs. Uh, we have went nationwide. We have went a lot of universities, colleges over there. So with this COVID, I actually uh, then told my team that why don't we do WMYSK over online? Why don't we do it on, 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 on whatever platform that is available so that this program can continue to benefit the people and yet, yes. we, are, we, we can learn some new, um, new stuff along the way. So I'm very proud to, to I, I do not want to say announce or launch, but I'll, re, I'll be very proud to actually share with my friends over here that from yes. tomorrow onwards, my apprentice will be doing uh, live interviews, uh, sessions with uh, uh, people from different, from across different uh, uh, perspective. We have, yes. we have a, a badminton athlete. We yes. also have, uh, uh, we have people, the CEOs from uh, private colleges. Uh, colleges. Yes. We have uh, MNC leaders, yes. uh, which I, I do not want to first uh, disclose. But if you uh, want more information, please follow us on our uh, My Apprentice uh, Facebook and all our social media. It, it will begin tomorrow and yes. we will, uh, we will uh, do it every day at 2 p.m. Uh, yes. And we will share uh, you know we will share our information there so it's a what what malaysian youth should know series but now it's an online series so that with that we can also hope that those people that are not be uh, be able to be physically with us they can actually uh view it from home of course now you can't get out from home but we uh, we hope to reach out to more people so from tomorrow onwards stay tuned with us every day at 2 p.m we're gonna have a uh, different different uh key opinion leaders that will come and, and share with you about certain topics that we have right. uh, we have actually set for them right okay so i, I think i think it's a, it's a good initiative uh, i mean i mean of course i know a little bit but i don't want to say i like what you say <laughs> if not they defeat the purpose of the whole interview today yeah, um, and just to share on wesley just to add on on this my uh, one malaysian youth should know series just want to share one thing it's not a typical series that actually shares about very crochet or very generic uh, you know things that people may already be able to actually google themselves yeah. uh, i actually during our previous sessions we actually have very uh very important topics that we speak about we actually yeah. spoke about terrorism we actually yes. spoke about mh17 when the plane was shot uh what yeah. was what happened uh during the whole process you see, yes. so it was dissected very clearly of what has been done, what are the actions. So things that people are, things that youth are not able to get online. So right. these are real informations, real experiences that we, these people will share. And uh, we, I even had one MDB, a talk on one MDB. So the youth has the right to know. It, it, I, I'm not very interested in the politics of it, but the youth should know what are the challenges or what are the problems that has happened, you know, in terms of, of governing a company. So right. what Malaysian Youth Should Know series is not a typical uh, crochet, you know, just come and, you know, oh, just empower people. No, you will hear it from them of what is really happening on the ground, what is really happening, for example, pre and post COVID-19, what is affecting uh, the employees of SMEs, what is affecting the businesses outside. If they lose money, uh, how severe it is. It's going to be very... Um, not detailed, but it's going to be very um, not something that you can Google. <laughs> I I think perhaps somehow quite quite linked to what you share. I think people should know the right right information, right? I think the right source. I always say the right source. I think yeah. that's the reason. Why I think I think somehow flowing very well to what you say. Uh, the W M Y S K. 
Uh, yes. I've personally been to this program before. I don't know why I still until now I I I I got tongue twister way to pronounce my bad. Uh, <laughs> I think it's good to put this online because now MCO yes. too. I think I I honestly think you should know some stuff that they need to know instead of yes. just printed nice. I mean, it's always good to get very nice images of you know maybe starting business. They tell you very good stuff. But I think. From the ground, we also want to know what really the youth wants to know, should know, and second, yeah. the true true stories behind, uh, like what you say. I mean, uh, the badminton hero. I let you announce who. Uh, then we got all these people. I, I think these are the on ground things that we would like to do. I mean, I mean, these are the things initiative. I think I think it's, I think it's good. So like, uh, let me just read some of the comments right there. Uh, we have Nadia. So much information, Nadia. Nadia, um, online. That's task. Uh, Farah, uh, Tasha, Suli, what that took for being a minister? <coughs> oh, 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 it's okay. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for that. Uh, uh, but thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So not only not only I say this kind of thing, right? So okay, so let, let's come back. Let's come back. Okay, so in, in this perspective, uh, so we're gonna launch. Uh, yes, finally you announced we're gonna launch this uh, WMOSK online series tomorrow. And uh, yeah. so why not you share with us tomorrow lah? Tomorrow two p.m. Who will be the first? I mean, are, we, are we allowed to share? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Okay, I'll let you do the privilege. So tomorrow at 2 p.m. Should, uh, should, I, should I call the person first? <laughs> no, are we, are we, I don't know because are we like supposed That's to? That's right. Should I call the person first to ask for permission? I mean, I, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. Lah. I don't want later anybody. Uh, uh, tomorrow, 2 o'clock, we will have Liu Wing. I think, uh, of course, a lot of us know who is Liu Wing. Uh, yeah. is a, what, our national badminton athlete, uh, the country's national badminton athlete. So I think uh, um, I, we will definitely share more information on this tomorrow, right after this conversation, uh, so that you all can come in and, and, and speak to her directly. So yes, uh, we have Liu Wing tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Right. So tomorrow we'll be announcing for the very first time tomorrow uh, at 2 o'clock. So we were going to have an exclusive, uh, what do you call this, what, tea, tea, tea chat interview? Uh no, I think just afternoon and and we call this series an afternoon uh chat. Okay, so even I also don't know. Hi, I need to work harder. No. Okay. <laughs> you should not be you should not know. <laughs> it's a surprise. All right. So tomorrow at two o'clock, uh so we'll be having an exclusive afternoon chat uh with Gao Lu Ying. Uh I, I think yeah. Malaysians and the fact are uh, people across this uh this region would, uh, I think, would know her. Uh, our mixed doubles uh, specialist, uh, a former silver medalist in the Olympics. So she will be on air tomorrow. We're going to do a live session with her. And uh, from the perspective of uh, national athlete and all this pre and post COVID kind of thing, right? So, and in yes. fact, uh, we do welcome, we do welcome all of you watching this video right now. Join us tomorrow. Uh, we would like to invite all of you to join. And perhaps, uh, why not? Share with us some questions that you want to ask her, that you personally, that you want to ask her. So we hope yes. to address some of your questions tomorrow. So yeah, feel free to join us tomorrow to drop us any of your questions. So, so yeah, something that, that's exciting happening, right? right. So, and again, uh, in fact, uh, this one will last until when? Sorry? Uh, this, this the WNYSK, will it be... Ah, of course, it will continue to go on, but at least we will, we will, we will fill up all your MCO time. Uh, we have until 14th of April. Uh, but WMYSK has been there for many years, so we will continue right even after that. Uh, but at, as per this point of time, uh, we will we will try our best to line it up uh, every day until MCO ends. Uh, so of course, some speakers are still pending confirmation. But I want I hope that uh, you can be very excited because we really line up a lot of very exciting topics. It is right. uh, from sports to mental health to what's the best recipe at home. Uh, right. to what's going to happen to employees, what's going yes. to happen to SMEs, uh, what's going to happen to e-commerce. There's so many okay. things that we actually have lined up for you every day. So um, I just hope that, you know, you stick with my printers for the next few uh, coming days until MCO ends, two o'clock, you know, have your Maggie Me in front of your, in, in front of your laptop or on your phone or your iPad, you know, stay with us. And I, I hope that you can, be like, like what uh, Wesley has said, you can definitely type your questions. You can yes. ask you what is happening uh, because I've seen a lot of, I think, sports event has been postponed. You know, yes. uh, everybody is anticipating for the Olympics uh, uh, that is happening this year, but unfortunately has to be, uh, uh, you know, so what are these athletes? So th these are the real things that is happening on the ground now. What is really happening on, 
uh, on each and every of the athletes. Of course, again, we have a series of uh, other topics that we have lined up. Right. Uh, so, so I think uh, like what you say, just reiterate, we have sports, we have uh, e-commerce, we have business, we got some private, uh, we, we have some educational institutions. Yeah. Uh, I think it's good, but I think, uh, I, I don't know, MCO extension, let, let's put it aside. Uh, if it happens, it happens. But I think uh, if any of these, I think if any of our friends watching this, if you have any ideas, perhaps uh, maybe we can take in some of the suggestions. Yes. Uh, I want to give you more suggestions as well. I mean, uh, yeah. what type of speakers that you would love us uh, to also invite? Uh, right. Will love us to we that that's one one thing that I am very proud of. My apprentice is we are very multi. We are very multi. Uh, we don't only focus on one thing. Uh, right. We we would love to engage with young people in any in any interest as much as we can. So as much I always joke with my team. I would love to get TikTok gurus to come and share about you know how to do how to be a, even a good YouTuber. So I even like I said I even downloaded the the app you know TikTok, but I just don't have the courage to do it because it, yeah. it, I think if I do it, people will run away. So I think these are the things that the young people it matters to the young people and they want to know and they want to yeah. learn. Yeah, right. And and uh, just talking about TikTok. So how many of you watching this uh, Facebook Live right here? Uh, how many of you actually play TikTok? If yes, comment yes below. Uh, because honestly, I don't. Uh, I haven't have uh, TikTok yet. I think I should go and try. I think I should go and try. Uh, I you, <laughs> you have. <laughs> I don't have. You <laughs> have. All right. So I mean, I mean, I mean, we talk about so many different perspectives. Why? Yes. Uh, do, do we have some perspective on any NGO initiatives that you plan to? Uh, talk about share any any into csr because printies yeah. has been well known for csr and ngo uh, so is there any any kind of social initiatives or uh, uh csr programs upcoming soon yes uh my printies has uh oh yes uh thank thank you for that uh, uh wesley so we have actually uh started a lot of other csr uh initiatives uh even before COVID. so we actually work with a lot of corporate clients and, and corporate partners so uh, one of it is definitely the very well-known uh, program Topic Leda Adivira, uh, Adivira right. Topic Leda, sorry. Uh, of course, we also uh, have uh, our school shoes program, uh, yes. bag program, uh, and etc. So I think uh, this, uh, because of this COVID, actually we activated My Printis Care. Uh, I think we have, uh, we have done it for over the, the years. And I think it's important for us to play a small role and small part here. Uh, especially in appreciating not only the frontliners, but also to see what we can do for the deserving families. So I, I, I we have started it last week. So I think uh, uh, the donation drive has uh, been not too bad. I think I, I really want to take this opportunity to also thank those who have supporting us. Uh, next week onwards, we will be uh, also going out to uh, police stations and hospitals and and to uh, to see what. I mean, the I always say to a lot of my friends that. It is okay that uh, you do not need to really do big stuff. You right. know, I we don't always need the media to cover and talk about us. It's okay. I think the heart matters, the heart right. and the intention matters. So, uh, right. of course, when you know the previous crisis, the political crisis that happened, uh, my my printis was the second uh, that was on the ground. We gave uh, gardenia bread. My 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 staffs went there. We gave bread. We gave mineral water. Um, we were the second. The first was, I think, the, I think the king. The king gave McDonald's or KFC. I can't remember. So we were the second. But subsequently, right. I know there was a lot of people who went there, even with pizzas, with etc. And then they got media to 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 actually cover. I said no, it's okay. We don't need this kind of coverage because um, I told my team we just need to, to to to. We do not need to be big. We just need to do as much as we can. Uh, we just do at what our capacity is. So uh, right. next week onwards, we will be going to, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, five hospitals around Klang Valley. And mm -hmm. we will be visiting uh, a few ballet police that is uh, that is in charge of the roadblocks. I think right. some roadblocks are 24 hours already. So uh, we, uh, we will be dealing with uh, Slango and KL. So yes. this is also to, 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 to so, th so that my team and I, we don't violate the MCO, right? So we can't, yeah. we can't be traveling too far. And it's also for the safety of my team. Right. Yeah, so for uh, those who want to uh, support us at My Printers Care, I think uh, uh, we will we will leave some uh, comment. Uh, we will leave a link and and uh, you can go to all our social media again. Yeah, the informations are there. 
So uh, we will also put up our our schedule or when we go uh, to certain places. And if you want to be part of it, just let us know. My team will be will be happy to facilitate. Right. Uh, so again, just to reiterate, is to support the frontliners and the deserving families. Those and families. Frontliners is not just only about those people who are working at the roadblocks. Uh, those people that are, but it's the family of them as well because they they need okay. to be there almost. Uh, some of them I heard more than 18 hours and I said, of course, now I think they manage it better. So we yep. just want to help them and their family as well uh, because some of them, not only they are breadwinners, but they are also right. the people who runs around for groceries. So we will be giving them dry foods, we will be giving them groceries and yep. uh, we will also help them, the, the, the deserving families that right. also are not able to go out and uh, purchase their necessities. So, so it's for the front frontliners. I think I think a lot of the, a lot of uh, I think a lot of Facebook live videos about frontliners. Uh, yes. I recently watched one. I think it was the roadblock in uh, in Kota Damansara. Ah, uh, oh yeah, uh, that one right. Because I was trying yeah. to guess what background is that. So, so, so that's the Pelangi Pelangi Court. Ah, uh, yeah, the the per per Surian Su, Surian right Surian. Correct, Pelangi Court. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the police are, are quite fierce, but I think it's for the good of the people. Yeah, I, I think speak, speaking of which, I think we had to do what we have to do. Uh, yeah. So similarly, like uh, I think some people have been following your work, like Ashraf say, you are one of the role models because you have a lot of light. <laughs> Ashraf suggested giving KFC. Henry said, uh, thank you for the effort. Kudos, frontliners. Good effort. Uh, we got some friends watching right now. Shireen, hi, Shireen. Shireen doesn't play TikTok. Uh, we got Chunwai. Hi, Chunwai. Uh, so, 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 and in fact, um, if any one of you have any questions, uh, feel free to just uh, drop your questions below if you have. Uh, so I think this is just a very casual tea. Yeah, uh, I've been drinking my my <laughs> my coffee uh, for, for many times today. Okay, I, I join you. I'm not coffee. I just drink plain water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Nadia Kirin salam to Sumer Police and uh, so yeah. So and I think uh, if any one of you have any questions, uh, feel free just to drop your questions. Uh, I will just wait for a couple of few more minutes. At the same time, for those of you tomorrow, uh, for those just joining, we will be having a WMYSK series tomorrow. All right, daily at 2 p.m. And, I, and I, before, before we go off, I have just two more things to share. I think this um, okay. is also a bit of a surprise. I think, uh, but before I go to that, uh, my British also works with a company called Maverick. So we have been okay. working with Maverick for in a lot of our events. So uh, they came up with a program called CapEx Malaysia, which we also will put it into our social media for more information. So CapEx Malaysia is also quite similar to MyPrintis. It's yep. just that MyPrintis Care, but MyPrintis Care focuses on giving uh, fruits, dry goods, and, and uh, eatery, uh, groceries. Uh, My CapEx Malaysia is actually helping them to get them, you know, masks, uh, uh, sanitizers, making sure that they are safe. So uh, I hope that uh, people who are listening to us, uh, you know, who who are willing, who are willing and able, uh, please join us and support us, and 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 uh, we 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 hope that with that is a little of appreciation to our, our frontliners and helping the deserving families. But for WMYSK, uh, I think this is something interesting. Uh, those who come, I, I actually don't really like this kind of. Um, you know, when we want people to do something, we give some gula gula. <laughs> we give some seats to people to actually. But uh, we're gonna give out limited edition touch and go card for our friends. Uh, this is actually courtesy of Touch and Go, so right. it's really a very limited uh, edition uh, uh, card for those who actually come tomorrow. Yes. So uh, spread this with your friends, share with them. Uh, we will pick lucky winners. Uh, actually, there's no winners, but it's just a lucky uh audience uh to get this so in every of our wmysk session we will give out three limited edition touch and go tune dr mahade touch and go uh cut uh disclaimer there's no money inside right so please remember <laughs> to top up before you use yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, good. So, so I think lucky wants to walk away. Like what you say, you're gonna have like three, three, three. Is it? You're gonna have you know, three every session. Yes. All right. So during our daily W M Y S K series, starting from tomorrow. Yes. So for those of them who join, you are gonna pick uh, some lucky, lucky winners, right? Yes. So lucky, lucky wants to walk away with a limited edition Tone M Touch and Go card. Uh, I think they cannot buy, right? Even they want to pay money, they cannot buy now, can they? Uh, later, not now. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not available, right? This this card is uh, not available, right? It is, but very limited. I think uh, there's only in some touch and go 
outlets, but very limited. Very, I think they only printed about a thousand uh, pieces in Malaysia. Anyway, now people also cannot go and buy, so no point. <laughs> yeah, so get it from my printers, and we will yes. get them delivered to you. So all you need to do yeah. is just join us. You know, uh, all all other details. I think uh, we will share it tomorrow when you are with us, uh, two p.m. when I when we, when we are with uh, Liu Ying tomorrow. Yes. Uh, so so for those of you just join in, so we're gonna give away lucky ones to walk away with limited edition tone M tone Mahadeus touch and go card for free without any credit inside. And uh, no. we're gonna pick uh, <laughs> no 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 cash no credit inside. Uh, but it's a, it's 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 an exclusive card where yeah. we will be picking some lucky lucky winners like what you say three every time so starting from tomorrow tomorrow two o'clock we'll be launching our first series with uh go liu ying our mixed yeah. double specialist uh she will be speaking on behalf of pre post covid on behalf of sports right so and again uh so would encourage and to support all of you to join us tomorrow uh, at 2 p.m lock your calendars yeah. like what uh, lauren say uh prepare with your maggie me <laughs> All right, and uh, so join us tomorrow at 2 p.m. And uh, if there's anyone of you have any questions uh, for upcoming few more seconds, just drop us your questions at the comment section below. Uh, else, I actually only wanted to talk to you for like 15, 20 minutes at first. Oh, no, really? Uh, how, long have been, how long have we been? 45 already there. Eh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> 45 so already. I think I take this live opportunity to thank you for, you know, taking my first time. <laughs> <laughs> For dragging I gave, you on air. <laughs> I gave you my first time on air on live with uh with Wesley Chan. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just a, just a last shout out, uh, which I didn't manage to uh we talk about right now. I think just now you mentioned about uh care care pack Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, in, in support of uh, giving masks and PPEs. Sanitizers, masks, uh, the essentials, uh, safety essentials for the frontliners as well. The essentials for the frontliners. If there's anyone of us here, they can probably uh, just just watch out for this. So it's a yeah. care pack Malaysia. Let me show this right here. So care pack Malaysia in support of sanitizers, masks uh, for the frontliners. Anyone of you right. here, if you want to show your support, uh, do do look out for care pack Malaysia. At the same time, uh, Printis has uh, my Printis care in support of the frontliners to support them and their deserving family members as well. Uh, at the same time, last but not least, uh, I want to reach out again for those of you here. We will be having our first WMYSK series tomorrow at 2 p.m. with Go Lu Ying. So I would like all of you to join, show our care, support, and love to Go Lu Ying. So, and uh, drop us your questions tomorrow. Uh, we want to know what you want to hear from her. So uh, reach out to us. If there's any one of you here, if you want any speakers, anything that you want us to cover, let us know. Drop us PM, comment, just let us know. At the same time, if you find this uh, tea session beneficial for you and for your friends, young working people, youth, Help us to like, follow, and share so that we can benefit many more people out there. So, any last words that you want to tell your audience? Uh, no, but I'm uh, again, I'm thankful for my first experience. On thank you so much for making this experience uh, easy. Uh, I know you have not asked me very difficult and tough questions, uh, you one, <laughs> which I told you, yes, which I told you too. I just want it to be very casual. Uh, but right. I think one thing, one last thing before uh, we go off, I really right. want the young people. You know, just tell us, you know, follow us on my and and uh, on this video, uh, drop your comments on uh, what would you hope, you know, uh, what, what type of series or what type of content or what type of uh, uh, talks that you want, you would want us to um, uh, get, you know, uh, experts or professionals to come and share with you, uh, especially during MCO. Uh, but, any, but any other ideas as well, uh, except TikTok ideas, which I don't think I will do it. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, I would love young people to uh, step up and speak up. I think speak right. up is very important. Uh, speak up of what you think you need. Uh, I think we will try our best to 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 do what is uh, needed by the young people. Yeah. Right. Uh, speaking of which, when we talk about uh, they need to speak up. In fact, somebody spoke up. Uh, I'm not too sure whether. Uh, you want to address this or you want to address it uh, the the upcoming WMYSK. So sure. there's a question by Tasha. Uh, what is your comment about Malaysian government in subsidizing workers salary? Mm. Uh, well, I think in when the government considered that particular thing, uh, it was actually just trying to help the SMEs to 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 um, reduce their burden 
But I think uh, beyond that, I think there's a lot more other things that is of concern to SMEs uh, because the problem here is zero revenue. Almost, I, I mean, maybe not zero, but almost zero revenue to a lot of other sectors as well, including uh, tourism, including uh, education, uh, retail, for example. Uh, I'm not to say that uh, we uh, the government is not trying to help, but I think the fundamental problem is not just about the the wage subsidy, but it's also to see, uh, because if the business cannot sustain and the business cannot go on for the next few months, uh, they can't even pay salary. So, and I don't think with all these minimum wages, uh, I think it's thousand one or thousand two. Six hundred is almost, but of course, in in Klang Valley, you don't get paid that low. You you get paid. Uh, I think the the criteria is four thousand and below. Then you can get a subsidy of six hundred ringgit. So uh, a lot of SMEs will consider that rather than I pay another three thousand four, and I have no sales in the upcoming months. So most probably I will drop the 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 employee. Uh, Rather than uh, why do I want to pay another? Because it's a burden. Because you need to pay extra. You have to pay the EPF. You have to pay the SOC. So there's so many other things that is involved. So it is not just the 600, but it's also uh, uh, what the SMEs are going to face in the coming uh, months ahead, especially when revenue is affected. So I think the government is just trying to help. But I felt, I feel, I personally feel that. Um, uh, it's not the right ubat lah. I say that not the right ubat to that. Uh, let's say you're having fever, but uh, you give a bit of just to relief, but it's not sufficient because at the end of the day, the fundamental is there is no revenue. So how do we uh, try to tackle this uh, 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 problem at this moment? Right. I, I hope I've answered that question. Uh, Atasha, we hope they answer your questions. I think in regards of this, I think uh, I think somebody approached us to talk about uh, the perspective of uh, SME business owners. Oh, yes. Uh, and, and I think there's a reason why line up, I think you mentioned just now, talking about business owners. I mean, is it in regards of uh, this, this matter as well? Yes, uh, business owners. Uh, okay, if you're going to ask me more questions, I'm going to promote all the way to next, next week already. <laughs> okay, okay, so okay. business owners, SME owners, please stay tuned this Sunday. Right, oh, business. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. So you see, you see, the more you're gonna ask me, the more I'm gonna tell you which day is for what. So let's right, stick okay. to let's stick to Sunday. And right. yes, for business owners, for SMEs, for for uh, you know, from any industry, uh, retail. He's a very good friend of mine, and we've known each other. And I think he has uh, produced a lot of um, uh, uh, write-ups, magazines, and because of this uh, COVID, I think he has also given a lot of his opinions. This yes. Sunday. 2 p.m. Business owners, right. I think you can uh, uh, come and listen. And I think if you have questions, you can ask him. I will, I will keep that the person first at the moment uh, yeah. because I still want you to follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram and you'll see who, right. who the speaker is. Right. You want to leave it suspense, suspense, huh? Uh, <laughs> well, we okay, need I, to... I Okay, I think I don't want. I, 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 I. Okay, maybe there are some things that you, you cannot announce yet. I respect that. Uh, for any, any one of you here, stay tuned. Uh, follow our our social media. We have the page right here. Like, share, follow as well. Uh, thank you very much, uh, people like Ashraf, Farah, Tasha. Yes, I know you can't wait, but we still gotta wait until tomorrow. We have an Instagram, Twitter, uh, my apprentice, and all those things. Um. Uh, so so yeah, any any things in regards of that, uh, we can probably uh attend to some of your questions. And uh, so interestingly, right? Oh. Another another question, not too sure, sure if you're going to address the SME question. Uh, a follow-up question by Tasha, how about the withdrawal of EPF? Uh, do you agree on this? Well, again, uh, Tasha, thank you for your question. Again, it is not about I agree or not. Uh, I think it's just also uh, the government trying to find some ways for people to be getting some reliefs and some money at hand. Because I think at this moment, it's all about how much money... Uh, you know, these people can have to sustain their, you know, the upcoming months and in case. So, of course, uh, there's a lot of debate about it because that one, uh, because that part, they said that it is actually a money for your retirement. But now that you're allowed to withdraw, so it's actually your own money. It's not really a typical government uh, assistance towards uh, the people at this point of time. Uh, but I feel that sometimes um, we should actually think about what we can do 
uh, rather than so much of what other people can do for us. Uh, this is just my advice, my personal advice, because I, I, I said this in my meeting this morning with my team. Sometimes it's, it's, it's almost easy to give up. It's almost easy to give up. It's almost easy to just say that, okay, I had enough, so I just want to move on. But it takes courage to actually uh, transform. It takes courage to think of other ways of doing things out of the box. So I think the government is just trying to um, find avenues for people to have money at hand so that you know they need to buy groceries, they need to do this and that. Uh, while I admit that it may not be the best solution, uh, because at the end of the day, it's a long, uh, I think it's going to be a long, uh, you know, they may be relieved now, but it may be, they may have some after effects uh, later on. Uh, so I, my opinion is, it may not be the best uh, remedy at the moment, uh, but I think, but I see the intention uh, from why they are doing it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for that. So thanks, Sasha, for, oh, for very, very difficult questions. I I hope <laughs> the next time uh, we have more sessions on this. I, I I mean sometimes it's it's cool to let young people step up and ask questions because yes. it's, it's challenging. It's challenge. It challenges our our thinking as well. Thank you for yeah. the question. Thank you. Thank you, Tasha, for, for stepping up. And again, uh, thanks for voicing out. Uh, thank you very much, Aidu, for joining as well. Uh, and uh, in fact, if there's any one of them, uh, if they want to just ask questions like this, uh, we will be welcoming questions for upcoming uh, WMYSK. Starting from tomorrow at 2 p.m., we yes. will have uh, Go Luying joining us tomorrow. And again, uh, stay tuned. So for us to continue helping more youth, young working people, business owners out there. So let us know, reach out to us, and uh, do follow us. And I think I don't want to... Take much of a time anymore. Uh, my promise Thank actually you. just 20 minutes, but now it's already 55 minutes. My apologies for your very first time for talking so long. No, no, no. Thank uh, you so much for that Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for joining. So uh, thank you so much. And if you think that is helpful, just uh, show some love, show some likes, and uh, just say thanks to all of us. We have to reach out to all of you. Thank you so much for your time. And we will see you all tomorrow at 2 p.m., right? So till then, uh, thank you so much again for your time. Stay safe, stay at home. And with me. Signing off Wesley Chan and signing off Lawrence Stowe Borbers for my Bye bye and see all of you again. Bye bye.